849 time for weekend break. Let's check in with Christine Flores. Hey, Christine. Good morning, guys. We are in Waukegan where like you can hear the tournaments have kicked off Joe Tross. Now you're kind of the mastermind behind all of this because these athletes are not only competing on the field, but they are actually also showing their abilities off the field, giving back to their communities. Tell us all about that. Yeah. So this is the 100th consecutive month of making a difference on and off the field. It's using the power of sports to engage and educate student athletes about the power they have to make a difference in the lives of others. Uh, it's, you know, the cool thing here is, you know, we talk about it all the time. You have schools here from the city and suburbs, public and private schools, all different backgrounds on the field, right? We're helping to make a difference in front of college coaches, you know, media exposure, but off the field, really impacting their community. Uh, April is National Child Abuse Awareness Month, and it's also month of the military child, so they're making in-kind donations. Uh, that'll be a large delivery, and then also donating two bucks a piece to help buy bikes and build bikes for military children. That is amazing. So how how does all this transition, right? We're talking a lot of these girls are varsity last year in high school. Uh, why is this so vital for them uh, this last year in high school? Well, it's, it's, it's it's exposure, right? And you know, one one thing about there's the self care standpoint. That's the biggest thing. Exercise, hydration, nutrition. Uh, it's recovery, self accusation, giving back. You know, some of these kids will go on and play. Uh, it's college. You know, one percent of these kids will go on and play professionally. But it's the opportunity to be out here to play different schools to build new relationships. Yeah. But again, just not on the field, off the field in the game of life. And that's really what we're trying to get through to them because a lot yeah. of these kids will end up you know, interacting in college or sure. you know, maybe in the job one. Earlier we heard from a representative with the Waukegan Park District. They said they are happy to host this for the first time here, but this isn't just the first time this tournament is taking place. Yeah, yeah this is the 22nd year. So it began in 2003 and it's been, it's been a lot of work. Yeah. It's been, it's been a lot of work, but it's, it's, it's cool to like, to just see how this is, has built because yeah. I mean, years ago, you know, when people would doubt you and whatnot, and you, you turn and you see all the school buses come through, you see the parents, you see the life-size player posters, you see the stuff pop on social media, and it's like, it is, it's a, it's a vision that kind of came. You're getting a little came. emotional because this is just, this is your, this is your baby per se, right? You grew it into what it is now, into such a, a big, a big accomplishment for so many high school girls as well. It's amazing. The off the field piece is the big piece. Everybody needs a buddy. Everybody needs help at some point in their life. Absolutely. And and when you think about the power of sport, the the things that it does for kids sometimes yeah. that you may not know. You may not Absolutely. know what they're going through, but they, you know, when I sit back and I think about mm -hmm. my high school career and you know from that standpoint, There's you know there, there were there were things that that I needed. So I kind of yeah. look around and you think about the thousands of athletes that are here. You know, Absolutely. kids are going through something. Mm -hmm. So it's it's a huge huge opportunity. Thank you so much, Joe. Toss it back to you guys in the studio.